So what are the challenges you face in SQL Server till now? <laughs> yeah, there are like um, uh, recently we had uh, uh, some issue related to uh, replication, the transaction replication. So we do move uh, all uh, schema changes uh, like once in a month. So whatever the schema changes happened in the publisher, so we uh, we gather all those changes and in one go we move other changes to uh, all uh, subscribers. So so when um, uh, it it when it is working uh, fine and the data is getting enslaved with all the subscribers so except for one uh, one table and one article we were getting like uh, uh, ANSI padding uh, ANSI padding uh, of a particular object and so we went into the source table and we checked the ANSI padding option for the table when you go to the table properties we do see that the option is turned on and uh, when you go and check so, so we searched a lot in Google and we went to some forums. So we kept that aside and we went through all other uh, pending things and we cleared all the things. So replication is working for all other articles. The only one article we still struggled. So I, we were four members uh, over the weekend. Uh, so we four members are trying to identify why it is uh, throwing that other. We take that other. We went to Google and we searched a lot but nothing. So then we finally thought we do we ourselves uh, try to see what happened what why it is taking we started trial and error method we tried a couple of options but still it is not working then what uh, the, the final thing that we did is like uh, we went to the snapshot folder and we opened dot sh file like snapshot file so where uh, the script is uh, generated uh, from that snapshot so when we open that sh file there whatever the article that we had a problem like ansi padding turn off there the, it was generated the script with default ansi padding off so in that uh, file what we have done we have updated that uh, command with uh, ANSI padding on and then we try to re uh, or we try to replicate that object so it went successful. So yeah, that's a very unique issue and there were no documentation. We went through Google, the nothing was found. It's a very unique thing we found and uh, we resolved the things. We resolved that problem. It is very recent. Last weekend we had this problem. Okay. Okay. So, fine. So, what what are incidents? Uh, what what are, what type of incidents uh, uh, we will get? <laughs> so we get on like um, uh, user access. Uh, so like people will come to us saying that we are not able to access. We are not able to connect a uh, SQL server. And also performance related things, and also uh, blockings and dead blocks, and also job failures. Okay, so for all these things, we have like uh, uh, alerts configured to remedy. So, whatever the if something goes wrong in the system, automatically incident will be triggered in the remedy. And if some remedy, we get an automated email, and from there, we uh, go ahead and start working on that particular instance. So, any issues with the high availability data. Synchronization issues for everything we get in sense. <clears throat> okay, so recently, what type of incidents uh, incidents you you worked on? So like, you give me any exa examples. You know, what kind of alerts alert uh, generate to you? So, by job failures, that is one common thing that we do take it like uh, daily. Uh, Daily, that's like uh, our couple of uh, uh, whenever we go to shift and uh, in our shift, whatever the job failures we get, that we take as an incident and uh, we troubleshoot. And apart from that, the one uh, critical thing, critical incident, uh, so we get a request from customers saying that, uh, uh, saying that uh, uh, the queries are running slow. So when well, I, I, so this is, the queries are running slow is very common and but here the uniqueness is like uh, he is telling uh, queries are uh, uh, basically he is trying to pull a report from front end uh, mm -hmm. when he run the report uh, first time 
the, the report is generated uh, within few seconds. So in the mm -hmm. subsequent times, whenever he is trying to pull the report, uh, it, is, it is going uh, beyond 10 minutes and 15 minutes. So same stored procedure is being called from the back end, but, um, uh, but the user is complaining that my report is taking more time sometimes, and sometimes it is working fine. So, so as a DJ, what you did? Yeah, that's what I'm coming to. So we uh, take that stored procedure, the what was the stored procedure. First, we enable the trace, like a server side trace in the production, and we try to capture what exactly happening in the system. The thing that we identified uh, from the the production trace is like. Uh, so whenever he executed uh, the stored procedure first time, he has uh, selected a date range of one week. So for example, there are parameters called start date and end date, and he has given a 1st December 2015 to 7th December 2015. And we executed that report as it was first time. The SQL server has generated a uh, execution plan, and the plan was cached. And whenever he is trying to pull the report for uh, say six months or one year or more than one year. So what is happening behind the scene, the SQL server is trying to use same execution plan that was generated as part of one week date range. So I'm considering that it is assigning, uh, it is estimating one week results and considering that it is assigning resources to that particular query. And what are the resources that are assigned to pull the data for one week are not sufficient to pull for six months or uh, one year. So because of that, it is uh, taking more time. So one that, uh, so, so we, we with, a, with some more little research, we concluded this is related to parameter sniffing. And then uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, as for the Microsoft recommendation, we have implemented option recompile as a hint. Uh, then we, we tested it in Dell, so it went fine, and we promoted same thing to patch, uh, we patched out same thing to production, and then we are kind of monitoring since last 10 days, and we don't see that problem again, and the customer is happy at the end of the day. Okay, so what are the counters you selected? Uh, like uh, inside the stored procedure for uh, no, turning events. So basically, we we selected events like one is the execution plan and uh, another in another the SP started and SP ended and uh, like statement started and statement ended and then uh, and and then we. And then uh, we uh, selected appropriate columns like reads, writes, and uh, duration. So based on that, we measured all the required uh, fields for that particular query. Okay. For execution plan, we selected XML show show XML plan. Okay. So what is meant by index seek and index that scan? So both are the index operations. So when uh, uh, if uh, so index scan means, say for example, uh, I have a table with two columns, like ID and name. So, and I am creating an index on, I have an index and ID column, and in my select query, so my predicate also on ID column. Like in where condition, I am putting like uh, where ID equal to 1, 0, 1, or ID is less than something or greater than something. So both index and ID are on same columns. So in that case, so it, it uh, comes as an index seek because we are giving whatever the value, whatever the value that we are using as a predicate and on the same column, we are having an index and it will go and seek that particular value from the index. So it performs index seek operation. And I have index and ID column and my predicate is name, like where name equal to something. So index scan will give good performance or index seek? So obviously index seek, but we need to like, uh, depending on some cases, index scan may give better performance. So we need, but to come up with a better index, uh, we need for, for that scenario, for our, uh, uh, for our uh, requirement, we need to test it in the environment thoroughly and so then we can, uh, Go with the result of implementing uh, index scanner in next week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you work there always, sir? I have basic knowledge, but uh, I did not get a chance to work on this one. Okay. What about Windows cluster? Oh, sorry, uh, SQL cluster. Clustering, I have worked. Yeah.
we can uh, what is the command you use? So we can uh, when you put the stats uh, in the backup option, like the backup database database can to display the stats and it will give us the progress. And uh, and also just when you go to uh, the uh, this process is running and it can give you since how long it is running, how much percentage it is completed, and from there what the remaining uh, how much time it takes, then we can calculate.